Hi guys, you are hanging with Helen and my mum, Sula. Today we are going to be showing you one of uh, a very traditional Greek recipe. It's one of our favourites, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called baklava. Now this one is my mum's version of the baklava. It's the one we've been eating since... I can't even remember since forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> and we want to show you how easy it is to make a really lovely traditional baklava. And with about, what, 10 ingredients? There's not many ingredients to this. Not even. No. No. Two, six, seven. Is it hard to no. make? No, it takes only half an hour. And then it's the cooking time. And that's Plus the syrup that you put on the top. <laughs> Now the very very first step mum is that we need to crush up the walnuts. Yes please. Okay now I'm kind of thermosizing this. Is that how you say it? Thermosizing it or thermovising it? Something like that. I'm, I'm going to basically convert it to the thermomix recipe but you can use a food processor at home if you don't have a thermomix. If you're interested in a thermomix though reach out and I will get you in touch with how you can get one. Um, I'm gonna use a Thermomix to crush this. Now in the normal recipe, you would crush the walnuts and then you would add all the kind of spices to it afterwards. But most people who know me know that I play around with recipes and try to skip steps and make it easy. And so we're going to come on over to the Thermomix and I'm gonna condense this to a few steps in one. All right, first things first, we are all Wait to stop, there's water in here. All right, first things first, nuts. We've got about 600 grams or four large cups of walnuts, right? No escaping. What's next? Now this is the part that I'm, yeah, there's some breadcrumbs in this recipe, which I only literally found out today. I didn't know it had breadcrumbs. This is about 70 grams of breadcrumbs. We're throwing it in together. Then about 60 grams of sugar. Cinnamon. Some cinnamon. Just a sprinkle of that. I would say about a teaspoon. And some allspice. And allspice. I'm just waiting to see another teaspoon. <laughs> never measures so I have to try and work it out. I, the recipe's in the description for you anyway but just so you know. Okay this is the part that mum's never kind of done it like this. She does the nuts and then kind of mixes it by hand after but I figure if we put it all in together into the okay. um, thermomix it'll work. So now what are we going to do mum? Speed is heat four. four to start because we want it chunky. Let's check them. Let's check. So that was about Two seconds on speed four. Oh uh, no, needs way more. So I'm thinking maybe about speed six or speed okay. five. What do you think? Try. We'll try. Let's go to speed five. For another second. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. No, a little bit more. Tiny um, more. Another second on six. On six? Yes. Okay, another second on six. Okay. Alright, so far we've done four seconds. But if you were to go from speed six from the word go, I would say maybe, maybe three to four seconds, yeah. yeah How's that? That's fine. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It worked. It worked. Mum was a bit nervous, but yep. it worked. Come and have a look. That's the consistency you want. So it's mixed everything in together. We're going to put that back into the bowl now. Do you want it back here? That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we've got some bigger bits, some little bits. And just letting you know, my mum's a pretty traditional cook and you use your Thermomix for lots of things, don't you? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so what's next? We've got our nuts done. Okay, we put the filo pasta on the table. It's just one packet of phyllo. You've yeah. got to bring phyllo to room temperature, guys. 
And my mum's putting it on a towel because she just wants to show you what she does so that there's no wastage. Exactly, so I just put the dish on the top and I just try to cut it that way. And that way. So basically you're cutting it to the shape to of the side of the dish. dish. Okay. Then the next step is we put some butter underneath the dish. Okay, so the melted butter, that okay. was 330 um, grams mm -hmm. yeah. of butter. And we're just going to make sure it's nice and this oil. And the sides. And the sides. Yes, mum. So okay. good. Now we have to put six phyllo pastry with butter between. Okay, so six pieces of phyllo, buttering each one between. Would you not make the phyllo go over the outside no, at all? you don't need to. Don't need to? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have to be too much butter. Okay, so don't get too pedantic about this. It doesn't have to coat every single part of the phyllo pastry because there's a lot of butter there. So we want six. Can I do this part? Yes, please. I'm going to try and replicate exactly what you did. Okay. okay. Three. So why wouldn't you put it up the sides, Mum? So, what do you mean? Like, why wouldn't you have the pit filo pastry hanging over and you, then you bring it, it in? It would be too much fill on the sides. I look and then instead you're of having the sides. The, no, 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 instead of having warm much all around, oh, okay. it will be too much. Now, because we don't want to waste the little pieces, yep. what I do, I take the cut ones and I make another fill with okay. the little pieces. Okay. That's five. All right, more butter. And this is the last one, number okay. six. Alright, so this is the little off cuts that That's mum cut off before. The number six fill, which is, which the, is the last one. Alright, so you're basically just making one whole sheet. Okay. More butter? Yeah, number six. Oh, you don't need butter no. on the top one? Okay. Now we start to put the walnuts, just a handful of walnuts, sprinkle them around. It doesn't have to be full, okay? Okay. One more fill of pastry with butter. With butter. How do you do that without it moving around? That's huh? it. The next one. Oh, you don't need to do it. That's okay. okay. The next one is with walnuts. No walnuts in between those two yeah. letters? No. Oh. One without, one with. with. Ah, learning something. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now another fill. Another fill with butter. With butter. That's how you get all those beautiful layers, Mum. Uh -huh. Got the nice crisp and the. One. Is okay. Yeah. So we have the, again the one fill with butter, and then another fill on top with nothing, and then. No butter, but more of this stuff. Okay. The filling. One with butter. One with butter now. No, 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 no. I don't think I'm doing oh, the butter. Too much butter. Too much? Mm. Okay. I thought I wasn't putting enough. Alright. And then some of this again. Yes. You just push the corners a little bit down. Okay. So as you're going, you're pushing the corners down. And you can use some of this again. Yep. So you don't waste. They, until they finish. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Oh, come oh. on. Oh, there we go. I think it's not cut until right to the end. That's why. Okay. 
put some butter on the top there, please. Okay. So you're literally just dripping it. Obviously, you have to get it everywhere. No, that's okay. When, when it goes into the oven, it will go by itself everywhere. Okay. Uh, one with walnuts. Do you want me to do it? Yes. Just one handful, yes? One handful. And tuck the corners in. Alright, next. Okay, one with, our, with butter. So how many layers would you say? The, this whole, is? the whole thing. The whole thing. You, you just leave six for the top. Oh, okay. The rest of them all until you finish the walnuts, one or the other. Okay. So walnuts again. Walnuts, please, yeah. And you don't have to be too heavy-handed with the walnuts, do you, Mum? No, as long as you have them, you know. Yeah, we're gonna that's it, oh. yeah, too much. Okay. Two. I love that you're using everything, Mum. No, not really wasting, just a little <laughs> bit of off cut over there, but that's okay. If you want your um, baklava to be thick enough, yep. you have to use the whole thing. Okay, butter. In other words, it will be very thin. Yeah, so six at the bottom, six at the top, and then basically the whole packet in between. Yeah. Walnuts. Keeping in mind there's two pieces of filler between each layer of walnuts and just butter in between, yeah? Okay, put some more because I think we are running. We're running out of filler. Of filler. Maybe we were a bit excited with the, the walnuts. Okay. Here I know where I got my messiness from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more butter. That's it. Makes it long. No. Like Mum asked if I've got any more filo pastry. I do not. <laughs> so we don't have any more filo. So. No. That's okay. Don't worry. We can use those nuts for something else another time. Better to have too much than not enough. Okay. Let me do the coolness. Okay. Because this is the last layer of walnuts, yeah? Yeah. And then we're putting the six layers. If you want the baklava to be thicker, you can use some more filo pastry. Okay. So in that case, you buy two packets. Uh -huh. That's if you want your, your baklava to be super, super... But not two thick. packets in one day. It's probably one and a half. half if one and a half. half. Yeah. yeah. I usually use one, but... Uh, I don't know. No, I think we just used maybe too, did much. too much walnuts. Yeah. That's okay. all. Ella? Oh. Okay. Perfect. Yes. So we want butter in each one. Butter in each one, please. Yeah. Okay. 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 Last one. Okay. We put butter on this well, one properly. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Now we are going to cut it. Oh, okay. Before we put the butter. We will put the butter at the end. Oh, really? So can I have a different one, please? Why? A smaller one. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. It, it needs to be sharp though, doesn't it? Uh, we'll see. Now we have to make sure how many lines we are going to do. Okay and how big the pieces has to be or how small they have to be. Okay. So usually I do them in one, two, three, four, five lines. So you're doing five lines. doesn't have to go all the way through all the way all the way through but not to the bottom, bottom one bottom. because you're going to cut it again when it's ready yeah and the reason we cut the filo to start with it's so it will be cooked inside mm -hmm. and then the syrup at the end will go everywhere okay if it's not cut you can't cut it after and you can't cut it after it crumbles doesn't it yeah. as well now you can bring the gloves to heaven. Gloves? Yeah. 
The gloves. The gloves. Oh, clothes. Gloves. Clothes. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> clothes, <laughs> people. Not gloves. Clothes. Whole clothes? Yes. So as soon as, soon as cut them to piece, you can put one in each piece. Oh. Even after you, you don't do the melted butter first? Uh, no, you put these ones first. Okay. So now we cut them like this on diagonals. Is that knife working Big enough? for you? Big enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm. you, you can see that it's not hard it's just a little bit fiddly um but really when you look at the ingredients that are in this there's not that many ingredients and you're following the same line yeah yes on each of them that's okay and even if it doesn't follow the line it's okay it's okay can put some of them. The what? The clothes? <laughs> These ones. <laughs> no gloves. <laughs> the clothes. So we're getting one clove oh, and we're just oh, so you give me piercing one. it. Okay. We do that so when it's cooked mm -hmm. it will hold the feel down hey. instead of going. That's also something I wouldn't have done. Okay. I would have probably you can do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> So they have to be pretty ones. So, okay. the clove holds it all together. Sorry. Many hands make light work, they say, Mum. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Oh, okay. But not too many mouths. Not too many mouths? <laughs> no, that does not make light work at all. <laughs> Okay, come this way. Oh. Probably it will be easier for you. I'm getting in your way, aren't I? Yes. Yes. This is a great thing to get your kids involved with. Oh, okay, obviously I am a kid. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, little kids can come and do this job of putting the clothes in the middle. Which mum said was to hold the baklava all together. But when it's cooked, you don't eat that. No? The clove? No. Don't eat the clove, peoples. Because it will be bitter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my new okay. way. You have my way. I know. It's just in a horror way, too. <laughs> Forty-four pieces and a little one. Forty-four. Alright. Now so you can put some butter on the now top. Now we can put butter on top. Yeah. Am I doing this right, love? Yeah. Give me a minute. So the butter will go everywhere. All the way through. Butter will give a nice color when it's cooked. Mm-hmm. As butter does. Use your pastry brush to just tuck in any loose bits of filler on the sides. Okay, and we're done. Pretty. So it's probably a bit too much butter, wasn't it, Mum? Yeah, probably. But don't forget, we didn't have enough uh, filler and filler bus. Okay. All right, so now what? Now we put it in the oven for at least an hour. On to 175 uh, fan uh, oven, fan oven, it will be much better. After an hour or before an hour, 45 minutes, you have to see if the color is nice and gold. Mm -hmm. You take the dish out and you try it like this. Mm -hmm. If it moves around the whole thing, that means the underneath part is cooked. cooked. If it doesn't move, it needs more time. What an awesome tip! Guys, Some, sometimes they reckon it uh, takes probably an hour and a half, but depends on the oven. Okay, so we're putting it in for one hour to start with. I might put it on for 45 minutes just to check at yeah, the 45 yeah. minute stage because my oven's a bit hot on 175 and uh, we'll see how we go. 
Okay, we're doing the syrup now. So while the baklava is cooking, we're going to make the syrup. You can do this on the stovetop or in your thermomix. Um, we're just using the same jug that had, we crushed up the walnuts in because it's all just going to go in together, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. So we want 850 yes. of sugar. You just have to make sure you're not touching the cord there. Okay. Okay, let's follow the recipe and see. And we but want. But baklava has to be sweet. That's it's why they call it. Baklava. That's why it's a sometimes food. <laughs> All right. And what are we doing for the water? I think it was two and a half. I thought it was five. Uh, five hundred and fifty something. Five fifty. I think it was five fifty. Four fifty. Four fifty. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Cinnamon. So we've got about a half a stick of cinnamon goes in there. So great grated cinnamon. There you go. It's open. Okay. Half a teaspoon and grated cinnamon. A few of those, please. How many now? Just a handful? Yeah, yeah. No Just tea. a pinch of cloves, maybe oh. eight. And half a half juice a lemon. of lemon. Not too much, peoples, because it does. Um, it will be so. Just instead of sweet, it would be sour. It will be sour. All right. Okay. So how long should we go for, Mum? Uh, reserve. On reverse. On reverse. Reserve. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. I don't. I love it. <laughs> okay. So let's put it on for say ten minutes. I'll speak Greek from now on. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's good. Ten minutes, a hundred degrees. Reverse. Five, five minutes. Yeah, five minutes on a stovetop is different to your thermo. Now, five minutes when it starts boiling. So once it comes to the boil, you then let it go. You bring it to medium. Yes. And you let it go for, for five, five minutes. minutes. This one here, all right, we'll start with five. I think it's going to be ten. But anyway, how degrees reverse speed, 2.5. Just so that it stirs around that sugar and um, reverses so it doesn't break down the cloves or the cinnamon. So that was 10 minutes. So five minutes with the Thermomix, it takes about that long for all the heating up time to happen. And then five more minutes to have it um, come to the boil pretty much. Now, this is how you know it's ready. What do you do, Mum? We just dip a little spoon in there. Mm -hmm. And then you just touch it with your two fingers. If it is sticky, sticky. not very Not sticky, tasty. just like this, it's perfect. Okay, yeah. awesome. And just obviously that's going to be really hot. The other thing is, so just look. It does, it's not running. It runs slowly. Yeah, so that's how you know it's kind of ready. That's another nice tip. I like it. Um, where, if you're going to go and touch it with your hands like my mum just did, maybe just lick your fingers first so it's a bit cooler so when you're about to touch it because I don't want you burning yourselves. All right, so that's ready to go. We just now have to wait for the baklava to be ready and then we're gonna pour the syrup on top. Mum, do you have to put hot syrup on hot baklava? It doesn't, doesn't really matter. matter. Some people, they say that one has to be cold, the other one hot, but this one will be still warm until the baklava comes out, so it will be nice, okay? Okay. Okay, let's have a look. My cameraman's gone, so I should be the camera person. Yeah. Can you see it's moving? So, moving means ready at the bottom. Yep. Okay. And we had to actually drop it to um, 165 for Last another 10 minutes. Left because it wasn't quite ready, but it was getting quite brown on top. So there you go. All right, mum, what's next? Uh, now we are going to cut it a little bit again. Yep. And then I will put the syrup on the top. Okay. And then you will see the difference in the color. Okay, so mum's just cutting it all the way through. What I'm doing is just fishing out the cloves and the cinnamon, um, the, the big bits of stuff. You want to put them out. I think 
think we're good. Doesn't matter if there's just one or two cloves, right, Mum? No. Okay. So that's now cut. Yeah, so the silver one. So literally individually cutting every single piece. You have to be careful because it's very hot. Mm -hmm. The reason you want to be cutting it like this is because it's now going to be much easier. Once we put the syrup on, it's going to sit for what, two hours? About two hours before yeah. you have any piece. Yeah, before you take out any of these pieces, let it sit in the syrup for two hours. Uh, and if you don't cut it all the way through, it's going to be really hard later to then cut it and take those pieces out. All right, and now pour the syrup on top, Mum. Yes, please. You have to go all around. around. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we're going to mix into the scissors. Mm -hmm. Get up the corner. Mm -hmm. Something. Look how it's puffing up because of the syrup. Okay. That's it. All this syrup that you can see now, it will be gone in about 10 minutes. It's going to absorb it. Mm -hmm. All right, two hours later, and we're going to show you when we take out one of the pieces. Okay. okay, so that's it. That is all it takes to make a really lovely traditional baklava. I'm calling this Sula's baklava <laughs> because it's my mum's recipe. She's perfected it over the years. Uh, thanks, Mum, for You're joining welcome. me in my kitchen this time. You're welcome, Helen. And now I know how to make it so I can make it for oh, you. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to taste some of this. My mum can't wait for two hours while we let it sit, but I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. And but, call me and let me know. Yeah, and feel free to put, pop any comments below um, and I'll read them out to my mum <laughs> if you've got some comments for how awesome her recipes are. Do we want more of Sula? Yes. And please remember, if you haven't subscribed yet to Hanging with Helen, feel free to pop the subscribe button, like our videos. We're trying to put in as many videos as we can. What's next, Mum? <laughs> what are we going to try next? Uh, I'm sure you will think of I'll something. I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank maybe, you. Maybe, maybe the dolma vakya. Oh, yes. Van yeah. leaves dolma this. That's yes. a good one. That's okay. a good one. That might be our next video. Here we go. It's been two hours and I've taken a piece out. You can see it's got some nice, beautiful layers in there. I agree with my mum. I think it could have done with maybe another half a packet of phyllo. We definitely had enough walnuts to create a few more layers. That would have given it just a bit more height. Uh, but I'm not complaining. I'm going to have a taste and see. Hmm. I can't even talk to you now because it's all stuck in my teeth. That is amazing. And the syrup is just beautiful. I hope you try it, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed watching me and my mum and hanging with Helen.